this is our final talk of the exhibition. It's the third talk. And um, today, for a change of pace, we're talking to filmmakers rather than painters. Um, but this whole exhibition has been a kind of an interaction between film and painting uh, throughout with screenings upstairs, etc. So, so um, what we're going to discuss today is the making and on making of a film on painting, something that the three of us have been working on for the last two years. Two years, yeah. And uh, it's went through lots of changes. And this whole exhibition is about change. You know, it was rotated midway. Um, we had great difficulty actually changing it. We liked the first edition of it, and then we changed it into this edition. So, but it's all about change, and it's all about the difficulty of changing, you know. Um, so, the film itself, and I'll just give a little bit of a backstory to it. Um, the film has changed. We wanted, well, in the very beginning, there was a painter, uh, and the, uh, Damien Flood, who, who, was, who did the talk about on Tuesday. And we were in Belfast, and we had a few drinks, and we went to see a painting exhibition. Adrian Gen, a Romanian painter. And um, we went to the bar, and we had a few, a few drinks, and then we kind of started talking about film and painting, and what about, could we do a film on painting? So, in the very beginning, it was a very basic idea. Do an overview of Irish painting. And we really didn't know what the tone of it was going to be, we didn't know what it was going to be about, it was just going to talk to painters. And then through lots of processes, funding processes, etc., we met, uh, we brought Gareth and Saskia, who are filmmakers, into the picture, into the frame. Because we, we couldn't make film. Uh, we, I was an art critic, I was a painter, we had no clue how to do this right. So we got, and we knew these guys, I knew Saskia for a good few years, and then we got to meet Gareth through Saskia. So, since then, for the last few years, we've been making a film. And it's not made. No. It's still in process. <laughs> um, but it's been exhilarating for me, anyway, uh, as a process. Um, because we've, because, and perhaps because we've, we never got funding for it. So we do it on a part time kind of thing. Mm. We get together, do an interview. So let's open with, I suppose, where do you want to open with? So the beginning is always a yeah. good place yeah. to start. start. Yeah. So uh, how did you feel? Okay, that's the first meeting, maybe. Oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah. your background. Yeah, your background. Out of art. I'm from art college background. Oh right, you yeah. Were kind of the, yeah, I'm yeah. pure sort of yeah. film background. Mm -hmm. You've got a kind of a mixed film art background. Yeah. So I'm totally outside of this Painting, what's world. That? Yeah. Yeah. So when I came to meet you guys, you had this very fixed idea of oh, we want to talk about painting in Ireland and how great painting is in Ireland. And I was slightly worried about that in a sense because I was like, isn't this just going to be painters themselves telling themselves how great they are? And it was sort of this, there was this worry where we had to sort of maybe hang, hang it on something a bit bigger than um, just a profile, which would have been perfectly, because it's totally legitimate, but I just felt like there was more to it than that. And so it then mutated into your relationship to painting. Mm -hmm. And that became the structure on which we could hang these ideas about how painting had matured in Ireland over the past X amount of years. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of it then. Yeah, yeah. Your sort of, your relationship to painting then served as a structure and around that then we would Talk try things. to make a film about yeah. mm -hmm what that was, what was your relationship to painting and why was it the way that it was? Yeah. Mm. That's good. You have yeah. an art background. I have an art background. Yeah. So I thought it was really helpful for Gareth to be there from a non-art background. So he's offering up purely technical ideas as well yeah. a lot of the time or questioning things that we would just, we'd go into art language maybe and Gareth would be like, sorry, what? Like, what? Yeah. Like, come on, pair it back. So how to make a film more universal, really. Yeah. Um, and even though we were talking about painting and James's relationship with painting, it's a universal subject. It's, it's looking at people who, um, who stick with the creative practice and people who don't for whatever reasons. So yeah. It's really... We yeah, sort of, I think, in that first meeting, coined the phrase lapsed painter. Lapsed painter, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll give you some backstory. I used to be a painter. And I gave up 
for lots of reasons. Uh, I went to art college, found out there's lots of other things you could do. I taught art was painting as a kid, and as an 18 year old, I went, oh, art is painting, that's it, there's nothing else. So I went in and learned that you could do other things, and I started to play around with other things, so I gave it up um, to, for different reasons. But uh, what I found interesting in that first um, meeting was Gareth's questioning. Because we, myself, Saskia, and Damien, who was there, we were talking in an art language, as uh, Saskia said. Um, and we didn't even realise it. Really we didn't notice didn't it. Yeah. Yeah, it. So was... we were having this chat, using all these words, using all these contexts, and God was going, hold up, what's a curator? What's this? What's that? What's that? And he was, it was really, really difficult. It was really yeah. difficult, but he caught us on the hop. Before we continue, I did not know what a curator was. What is a paintbrush? You know what I mean? That's a yeah. simplified, yeah, but yeah. We, were using, we were talking a certain language that yeah. we've come across to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And not any highfalutin language, but just yeah. something that we were... Yeah. But there was also something that you guys were also yeah. very... You were in it, and... Mm. There is, and you, you have so much respect for it, so much reverence for it, and there is a preciousness around it. And it was sort of, I was the outsider who could try and get out of that preciousness to examine was it really precious, what was precious about it, what was important to keep and what was important to examine. Yeah, and make us question it as well. And then yeah. that fed into your yeah. questioning as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what happened next? I broke my leg. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> In an eight week period. Um, so the film was on hiatus for some time, but we were writing it, mm -hmm. or having yeah. back and forth, lots of conversations yeah. about mm -hmm. what, it was, what, what it was going to be, what it wasn't yeah. going to be. The first interview with you. I think that yeah. was the first. You yeah. Were, was I yeah. crippled at that point? Or yeah, no? you were. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You were crippled. Mm. So they came to my house. But, yeah. <laughs> and we decided to yeah. sit you down and interview you. In quite a similar sort of situation as this, except with a black background, um, one light on James, one camera on James, and James cornered in a room after driving around Dublin for two oh, that's hours. Right, you got lost. Yeah. My street, there's apparently two of my street in Dublin, yeah. and they're both <laughs> very far away from each other. <laughs> Finally got into this room and was interviewed in pro probably not as, you know, you've been interviewing painters and you haven't been taking as intense yeah. and as but Gareth interviewed James in a very, okay, what are we doing? Why are we doing this project? What do you want to get out of it? What do I want to get out of it? Yeah. You know, um, and it really structured everything. Yeah. From, from that. We didn't realize yeah. it though. The yeah. first, we <laughs> kind of rubbished it. So over that three hour interview, very intense interview, we started from the very beginning, what was your first interaction with paint, like as a kid and onwards. And it was very intense. I'd never been questioned in that way before. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but it took up a lot of biographical stuff that I hadn't actually yeah. thought about. Mm. Um, like previous traumas um, that painting helped me through, that I actually was attracted to painting because of certain things happened. People died, all these different things. So I had, painting was this thing that was there. I could pick up the brushes and do something with it. And it kind of got me through those traumas. So it was, I was wrecked. I was stinking in the car on the way home. Uh, you know, you know when you have one of those we anxiety? Delighted. We were like, yes, we've got it. It's James's. But you know when you have that anxiety, that fear anxiety, your, your smell becomes very... <laughs> <laughs> and, um, we've had a few of those days now, come on. Yeah. There's been yeah. ambulances called, <laughs> yeah. and no joke. Yeah. 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 Um, I think the making of is going to be more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to do behind the scenes, you're more than welcome. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we rubbished that interview, mm. even though now we're back at it. Um, well, so. I, think, I, I think it informed everything, but yeah. we, we, never, we never were to use the interview in the film. Mm. So it wasn't that we rubbished the interview, mm. we just put it on a shelf. Yeah. But it, everything that happened, and that was the pure, that was the DNA of every investigation we had yeah. in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then that structured the questions James was going to be asking painters instead of just saying, tell me about your painting, tell me about this. Mm. It was like, well, when I was, in my opinion, and in my mm. experience, and it was all fed through you then. Mm. You know, so. yeah. I was fairly adamant that it wasn't going to be interesting to just have a bog standard. Mm. Yeah, anthology of 
people um, painting and their technique and yeah. these sorts of things. It was more interesting to me that there is this, I mean, it is probably the first art form of, the, you know, I mean, painting on cave walls is the most primal form of expression, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in terms of that sort of thing. So for me, it was this ancient art form in this ultra modern time that we're living in. Yeah. And it was examining why people would choose to express themselves in that way. Yeah. Uh, based on the amount of skill and intensity, because there's so many other art forms that are done now, but, you know, they've been tremendously deprofessionalized, de you know, mm -hmm. even filmmaking, you know, any aspect of that, my, my industry has been completely yeah. depressed, mm -hmm. you know, you've got kids out of school competing with guys who've been doing it for 20 years, and it's just like, how did this happen, you know? Mm -hmm. So painting is, you know, a vastly, it's incredibly skillful, it requires a great deal of time, and, you know, it stands alone in that sense, well, other than the sculpture. So it was interesting to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, so. Um, so we had the interview, and then we started interviewing painters. Yeah. We started scheduling interviews with loads and loads of Irish painters, and I think we thought that we could build up a collection, and then have a look at all of this footage and make a film from it. But in reality, we interviewed maybe twelve to fifteen interviews in similar situations to what's behind us. Um, created locations for them, and created specific questions for them, uh, and filmed them. And then we had this collection and it was like, well, where is James's story? Where is James's voice in this? And I think there was a tendency as well of James being this like over-reliable narrator who could look at everyone, but you weren't involved in it. Mm. Yeah. So mm. That gradually that, became Mm. What started yeah. happening then was that, that you were the interview, or, yeah. and you had this thing that you had not continued with, mm. and these people who did, and it was distancing you from it. Um, mm. So mm. I think that was something that we struggled with quite a while, how to tell James's story, but actually involve him in yeah. all the other voices. Mm. So. We started um, like script writing, so we started writing scripts. Mm. And yeah. I'm a writer, so I, I love words. But, and we did loads yeah. of script writing and loads yeah. of essays. There's so much text written yeah. around this, even post post interview yeah. texts. Um, okay. and um, voice recordings, James. Voice do. recordings. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, just diaries and responding to the interview, what I didn't get, what I got. Mm -hmm. um, but trying to be, I used voice recording because I felt that a typewriter was getting in the way of actually saying what I really wanted. So when I start writing, I start getting, oh, that's a nice sentence. Oh, and then you start to think about it. It's like what David Foster Wallace uh, talks about. He says that when he writes a sentence, he tries to be very true. But then he starts to look and go, oh, that's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful sentence, you know? And then he starts to, but, and then he starts to become self-conscious about the beauty of the sentence. So, so I was kind of talking into these things very blatantly. Well, this is why you can get this. And we were like kind of ranting. But, we got some gems in it, yeah, you know, really reflections, good, yeah, yeah. critical reflections. Yeah, there was like what, 12, 12 or 15 that we filmed, yeah. and then there were maybe another 10 or, mm. or more that you just met with to talk to over a coffee and had these voice yeah. recordings or yeah, yeah. text response. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of time was spent writing. Mm -hmm. And researching, I mean, those and researching, days. yeah. So we had a huge body of work, of information. Yeah. Um, we were trying to marry yeah. a script with in talking heads, which these are. And then we were trying to think about how to link them up. Yeah. You know, uh, talking heads with visuals. We didn't want to show paint. Like, if you've ever tried to film paintings on a wall, mm. It's not interesting. Yeah, we never wanted, I mean, I think we were fairly yeah. adamant from the beginning. The very beginning we yeah. didn't want yeah. to show anybody in the studio and anybody painting because it wasn't. These were people who happened to be painters as opposed to painters. Mm. And we didn't, we want to sort of humanize mm. and get it more universal, get to a different level. So we kind of wanted to avoid a lot of the tropes that you would normally get in a painting documentary. Um, and that's actually harder than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Make a film about painting would never show. Yeah. Actually, it's not even a film about painting, it's about painting. Uh, this is a film about a guy, a painter who doesn't paint <laughs> without showing painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, we hit a lot of quagmires, let's say, you yeah. know, a lot of kind of 
moments where but it was always exhilarating it, it is yeah, exhilarating. we'd meet up and have these three hour debates yeah. about how everything had gone wrong but what we could do and mm. it would be so amazing and yeah. we'll do this and then we'd all go down this alley and then we'd all turn around <laughs> it was like, yeah and then um, it was sort of it came down to the we were like we realized how much time we'd spent and we realized what a great project it was and how much it meant to us and we decided to then start looking for funding yeah yeah. And so then we, you know, we ended up in the situation Great where idea. you had all these criteria for a funding round and the project um, needed to be X, Y, and Z, it needed to have. Yeah. So then we found ourselves changing yeah. what we were doing to fit, fit this. A funding brief. A yeah. funding brief. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, was it positive or negative? <laughs> it was positive. It was positive. positive. And negative. It actually, I think it brought us in the direction where we wanted to go. And Ultimately. An experiment, kind of an experimental film, but not that experimental. Yeah, essay you know? film. I think we an started film. messing around with that term. Yeah, bit, yeah. yeah. essay film. Yeah. You know, with a, yeah. a kind of narrator yeah. talking and then these visuals and then overlapping. A very kind of dynamic way of yeah. looking at yeah. not just paint, but people talking. Yeah. Uh, and so I think it was a very good process. Um, it was we went we got we, we did really well. We did to really say well. that we third got and two initial. projects were funded. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it a happens. big award. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. And we haven't got that much behind us in terms of getting that far. So it's kind of remarkable that we were in that room. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. that point of view, because yeah. James hasn't really made a film. Mm -hmm. We've only made short things before. So yeah, yeah. It was yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. 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 So then there was a kind of post, what did you call it, a bit of a down. A bit of a come down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Like, we, like even the panel situation, being in front of these other filmmakers questioning your, your idea. Mm -hmm. I think, and then we started to think about the idea, what is this of any value? We spent so much time doing this, our own yeah. resources. I think as well, that was our last potential funding opportunity. So there was this yeah. idea of being on your own, you know, where yeah. sort of you felt a little bit Are like, mm. nobody cares, it's just us, no. it's just <laughs> the world, you know. <laughs> so it's like, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares, why are we doing I can't believe we haven't drank once on this project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if it wasn't yeah. driving backwards and forwards, yeah. maybe yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, then we met again. And we started to really strip things back. Uh, we had to. Yeah. Like these previous films, are, they're not previous. They're they are still in. They're still in the, the everything, game. Everything is still in the game yeah. because of where we are. Like it's yeah. But location was yeah. really important. Um, they were in color. Uh, for this exhibition, they've been put in the black and white um, because the last picture shows is showing up there. There's a whole black and white thing going on here. But um, not to I go into detail. Yeah. Yeah. No other reason other than the match of the walls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the depth of our yeah. creative decisions. <laughs> oh, it looks nicer in black and white. The sky is grey. Done. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so they we, were stylistically. You know, yeah, they were trying to do something. And, yeah. So yeah. we yeah. set up yeah. a filming day, a weekend, mm. to film six papers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. So how did we get there? We got there. <laughs> How did we get there? How did we get there? We decided that we had to do it, we had to get something from our time, but we realised that we wanted to come up with a style that felt internal to James, that yeah. it had to be within James's... I think James's voice needed to come back into it. So from these, um, the idea behind these was that you wouldn't ever hear James's voice, and we didn't even record his audio. Yeah. It was off camera, um, and it was the conversation and the dialogue he was having with people like you're so honest when you're interviewing you know most people go in with an agenda and they're trying to kind of maneuver your way around and everything but what we realized the exciting parts of these was the points where you're saying well do you have any questions for me and i used to paint and do you or is there anything you find interesting about that and you'd relate it back to you so it was like how do we create another set of interviews with painters <laughs> where it sounded like you were having an internal dialogue where you were taking some of their thoughts about processes and about doubt and um, all of these big things and then relating it back to you and having your voice. And what else became clear as well from the amount of research and the interviews that we've done is that several people would say similar things. 
Yeah. So we picked six painters that best represented yeah. what we thought were the most cogent and kind of relevant arguments, you know. Mm. Yeah. So that's why we stripped it back right down to yeah. six as well. Because as well as anything else, I mean, mm. 20 interviews or however many we were thinking in the first place was going to be unwieldy anyway. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But again, not one of those was wasted in the sense of how it developed the project. Mm. Mm. No, it was, uh, like, it's an un unforgettable experience of two days in Dublin. We booked a place, yeah. a professional yeah. place, yeah. studio, but blacked it out. Yeah. So you just had the interview, interviewee in front of a, you know, a black space and they're talking to you. So it's quite psychological. That's my, my background comes from, it's our criticism, but I also am interested in psychoanalysis. So I was kind of, you know, there's that psychology, yeah. that yeah. interaction, you know. So I was interested <laughs> in getting, rather than the what's of painting, but the why's, yeah. well, what's yeah. behind. You know, because that's why I'm interested. Why I get, it, why I paint it, and why I give it up. So, um, yeah, it was really intense. It was, I loved it. We, yeah. we, we went in really prepared. We 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 know each other very well now. It's kind stage. of very intense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was nothing held back. You know, if I wasn't getting stuff, mm -hmm. Saskia would meet, you know, or Garrett would pull me aside. Listen, I've got that. We'd stop the interview, go back in again. So it was very, we were open with each other. Well, you didn't get this afterwards, like, we didn't get that, we didn't get that. And it was yeah. just very, so it was one of the best. We have someone here in the audience as well who was part of the interview process, so maybe, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> afterwards, in all of that. afterwards you can tell us about how you were like, well, they've gone again, or yeah. yeah. Actually, it might be interesting. So Would you mind talking about it at all? Or? Yeah, sure. Well, I don't, I kind of, I really don't remember very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was, I, I didn't, like, I didn't talk about my work at all, it was very much about myself and, uh, like you were saying, why is, like, why are you painting, not what you're painting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've never experienced anything like this. Yeah. You can be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really, really good learning experience. Like, I could probably say, but, like, the drive home was really intense. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably talked. My death boy, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, the, I don't know, it just kind of made you, um, I suppose, made me realize how much of a commitment it is a lot of the time. Yeah. Because you know, and, and, um, it's just something that I take for granted, but that's what I do. And yeah. Like, and all your friends are kind of like, you know, why? Why? That, <laughs> yeah. You know, not everybody does this, you know. Not everybody yeah. spends their free time with no money and no. Doing something as crazy as making work every day, you know, it's kind of really revealing actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought your questions were really strong and really, um, yeah, intrusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You said, you said, I didn't want my just, these are very, they're quite personal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I did, feel, at times, I felt like, I'm, am I going a bit too far? Yeah. I think I remember you being one of the first people to, people to strike back at James. Yeah. So why aren't you painting? Why are you going to start painting? Yeah, 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 yeah. And to think this is helpful to talk about. I think that was one of the turning points for me in your interview where you were just like, do you think all this is helpful? Yeah. All of this talking, is this going to get you closer to painting? Or yeah, yeah. And it was just like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, bring it back on him. You know, it's like, yeah. yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was. I think it's the highlight of this process. Yeah. Those two days because we just yeah. committed to two days doing it. You know, and I stayed up and yeah. met the next morning. And the last, so it was very intense. Yeah. And um, next. Um, and the idea was to then take those six interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And basically, James was to write a script yeah. where he would weave his thoughts in and out through the interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as a voiceover. As a voiceover. As a voiceover. Yeah. So we would have the imagery on the screen as James was speaking and then we would cut into interviews not dissimilar to these and they would kind of complete thoughts or counter thoughts or and it would feel like a train of thought that was the idea is that we would have this back and forth in James's mind about why he does or doesn't paint and what it is that makes him a painter and what's it, what it is that makes other people painters and to just examine this thing and it was sort of and that was the idea that yeah. it, these, it was supposed to be an internal monologue in effect mm -hmm. and that these painting these interviews would represent different points of view as you battle this in your head. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the script and then all of a sudden... The script it just, was amazing. It, the script was It really was gorgeous. Heavy. It was so beautiful and 
it's similar to what I know of your writing from Billion, um, but it had, like for me, it was more personal. You were giving way more, um, and you didn't have to be critical about the material as well. You weren't going into an exhibition and then removing yourself from it and writing whatever you wanted. You were invested, you were part, you were an artist in amongst all these other artists. So it was really, really super, it was great. Um, but I think for us, it, it sort of started feeling as though you were too removed. Us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It made you, yeah. it took you out of this process yeah. and made you, and the fear was that it would, it it would end up that you were judging. Or, yeah. Mm. yeah. And that wasn't where we wanted to be because it wasn't yeah. honest to what had happened. That like you were as much part of this yeah. as they were, and um, so then we had to have another change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So we had to sort of. Yeah, so, and there has been lots of sacrifice, hasn't it? Like you know, okay. just because we did like we put a piece together with like I recorded myself saying the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the script. The script. Yeah. We overlapped did a really rough copy. And um, it was just something wasn't. We didn't edit with that, we did like a 20 minute 20 edit. 20 minute edit, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it just it didn't feel right, it didn't feel true to you, it didn't no. feel true to no. the process. Mm. Because it goes, it goes back to this idea of language again. When you start mm -hmm. writing a script, yeah. and then you start saying it, it's like a different person. Yeah. Like, because I'm too in love with words, <laughs> I'm way too in love with words. So but I think you hide in them as well. I hide in them as well, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was the thing, is that we, we were sort of losing you in that, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't really fair, it felt to me, that you would get all this time to time deliberate. To, yeah. mm. And, and then, then you know, everyone else was on the spot, yeah. and it just felt sort of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It just wasn't yeah, fair, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like I, Yeah, like I'm like, you know, yeah, this God, uh, who, yeah, every word is in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature, and right. you get to look fantastic and everyone else is sitting there sweating and you're sort of like, no, we were never ever going to put anyone on the spot. No one ever said anything that would compromise him. But there was always this sense of detachment. Mm. Mm. And that wasn't what we started. No, definitely no. not. No, no. So, no. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. the next piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. is back to where we started. Yeah. And I will now interview James. Yes. And putting James in the same situation as the artists were filmed in, in the studio, yeah. black background, um, and Gareth interviewing James. Again. Right. Again. So it goes back, yeah. it's, it's went full circle. So we started in the place yeah. where and we're going to end there, you know. Yeah. We knew, like, we, in a way, I remember, like, Gareth did a, a short cut of that first interview. Mm -hmm. And she said it, it was only about a minute long, was it? And it's me talking in the camera, and there's little cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I really like. I remember showing it to my wife, and she was going, "Yeah, oh, I can't wait to see this." But we kind of just went on. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and we lost all that by having a voiceover and the scripted version. Yeah, of yeah. Um, it became very precious. Yeah, very. Um, yeah. But I think yeah. that you know, once again, those two days in Dublin where we interviewed six artists over a 48 hour period um, that wouldn't have happened without all this, this backlog of no, stuff we went through because yeah. like, those questions would have been everything. very different mm -hmm. you know so we had to go mm -hmm. through the stuff mm -hmm. um, yeah and even your technique as well for interviewing as well. oh yeah like it's, my first it's been completely different because you were so used to going into an exhibition and critiquing it or mm -hmm. you know talking to an artist about their work and this we were like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't ask them about the painting because we're not seeing their painting. Mm. So don't, don't talk about it. You don't talk about, you know, how does it feel to do this every day? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, those yeah you learn the craft. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember the first thing I did an interview with Damien Flood. It was near two years ago, and uh, it just felt all, it just felt, it just I was trying to pull out things mm. out, of you know, and um, just the question was wrong. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it is a we. I think we all learned our craft. Yeah, yeah definitely. Always. For this type of film. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll have something to show for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes soon. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the strange thing. I mean, in the sense that you wouldn't be, you wouldn't have put together this exhibition in the way that you have yes. over this process. Yes. Mm. This is part. So yeah. this is almost like an extension of the process. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. well, that's fascinating yeah. in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. This 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 film and painting. Came about because we met it together three years or two years ago. Like I wouldn't be doing a, an exhibition yeah. of painting with him, and soul painting as well. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So that's where we're at. Yeah. Do you have any questions? I hope it hasn't been incredibly boring because we were talking no. over lunch and we were saying it's like a painter coming in here with like a blank canvas and going, "This is what I'm going to do. It looks all great, but yeah. <laughs> so it's quite hypothetical to be here. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Are you a good listener? I've learned how to be, but it's very difficult as well. I found out that when you're in an interview and you're you know, transferring feelings back and forth and you're trying to get something from someone, you find at times you're not listening um, because it's so intense and you're trying to get something. Yeah, you have an agenda. Yeah. You have an agenda. And because you've a certain limit of time as well, like if you're hanging out with these people for a year or whatever in their houses, then you would get stuff very naturally. But you have an hour, an hour and a half, and you know, so there is a kind of, yeah, just, there's m moments where you're not listening, but you're trying, there is, is, is an effort to listen. I think mm -hmm. there's that lovely moment as well where you realise that you sometimes can't say what you want to say. You have to let the interviewee just keep talking. And by not, by not collaborating in this discussion that they're having, they actually start to resolve things for themselves or come to different situations and, and you felt it really, really difficult to not help and just go, yeah, I, like, I, know what you, I know what you mean and this is really tough and to... That was the biggest, that, that was the biggest really revelation. Like, like, we, we'd just say, like, James, like, don't say anything. Don't say anything but they know, could be just, hanging there for about 30 seconds, kind of going in their chairs, like, twisting. Yeah. And all this... And James was just like, I just want to, like, talk to them about You want to save them. So I think it is important to listen, but at the same time, it's a very contrived experience in an interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always, so, it's always going to be there. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard to when you have a limited period of time and a, and a, a glaring list of questions to hear what they've just said and then go at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You You're focusing time. on the one question each time. Mm -hmm. And I remember <laughs> if we get interrupted, um, I wouldn't know what the last question was. I'd have to ask, to ask yeah. my guard. Yeah. It was completely blank. I didn't know what happened, what I'd said before, what was the last question. Because I was completely focused on yeah. that question and getting that question down. Mm -hmm. So it's very, uh, mm -hmm. it's exhilarating but kind of terrifying at the yeah. same time. You know? yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have any other? No? I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Happy. Yeah. Thank you.